Welcome to this James the Bike Guy where we're going to cover a potentially stinky topic, cycling shoes. And in fact, uh, I've had about 2,000 miles in my current shoes and it's time for new ones. And instead of just going ahead and setting these up myself, I figured it would be a great idea to let you guys see what it's like to set up cleats onto your mountain bike shoes. Now most bike shops will do this for you. Because of COVID right now, my local bike shop, I'm not getting it done there. Um, but what I want to talk about is the cleats. So you're going to have your cleat on the bottom. In this case, it's a Shimano SPD cleat, but yours may be, you know, Crank Brothers, whatever your pedals are. But you'll notice you've got fore and aft adjustment as well as rotational adjustment. What's important with that is typically, you know, it's said that, uh, you know, the foot or the hip are usually the culprit. And by what that means is your cleat needs to get adjusted properly on the shoe so that you don't mess up your knees or make yourself uncomfortable. And to be able to do that is pretty easy because to get to fore and aft adjustment, all we gotta do is locate our metatarsals or basically the knuckles of our foot. And then the rotation, we can use our foot as a guide to see exactly what the rotation is. So with that in mind, all we're gonna need is a little bit of painter's tape, you get yourself a Sharpie. I like to use a four millimeter uh, torque key. You can use a regular key if you wanted to. A screwdriver that we're gonna use as a straight edge. And then, because everything that's going out there should get a little bit of grease, just so stuff doesn't corrode and get messed up, a little bit of grease, but that's all you need. So with the shoes off, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to put some tape on both sides of the shoe. And that's so that we can make a mark with our Sharpie on where our fifth and first metatarsals are. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this tape, just get a little bit stretched out, and we'll place that right on the side of your shoe, just like that. Then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Once you have that on there, you can go ahead and put your shoe on and we'll move to the next step. Grab your Sharpie and we're going to go into marking where your fifth and your first metatarsal are. So basically, I'm going to put my foot up here on uh, the stool, reach over, find my metatarsal. I'm going to do just a line straight down. And then here we're looking for the widest part of the foot, which is that metatarsal, and put a mark in. We'll do that on the other shoe here. We've got our two marks. We've got the straight down line there and there, and that's gonna mark our fifth and our first metatarsals. And in fact, now we can use that straight edge, kind of go across and we can get an idea of where the cleat's gonna be. So we're gonna wanna get these cleats mounted up right behind the third metatarsal. And the reason for that is this is the part that's carrying the load. And if you think about your third metatarsal, it's right here. Just behind that, you've got a nerve ending. And so we want to make sure that that spot, which is shown here in this metatarsal button on their own uh, insoles, that spot, we want the cleat to not be ahead of to where it would flex and it would make our foot go numb. So with that in mind, we'll go ahead, open up a little bit of grease because we want to make sure that these cleats don't get uh, totally seized on, just a tiny amount. And from here, and now we're gonna screw this in snug, but not all the way, because we still gotta figure out rotation after this. So we'll get those just slightly in there. Now we need to slide this cleat a little bit forward. I'm gonna take that straight edge Basically, I'm trying to get that cleat to show up just behind it, right about there. And now it's going to get a little bit weird, but we got to look at where our feet ends up. So basically what we're looking for is the alignment of our feet. And so you'll notice on my left foot here, kind of comes out pretty straight. My right foot arcs out to the side. So that means when we're setting up the cleats, basically what we want to do is make sure that this cleat, the alignment looks right. So in this case, I'm gonna set up the cleat on my left foot to be pretty much neutral, just like that. And we can go ahead and start to snug it down, make sure that goes in, tightens up, 
The other cleat, this one needs a little bit of rotation. Foot goes out to the right, so basically that means we need the cleat to allow the inside heel to go inboard, in which case that means the tip of the cleat here needs to rotate just a little bit in, and so you can kind of put that down, take a look, and this is much easier when somebody else does it for you, but taking a look. And so now we've got a slight rotation, and we'll snug it down. You now have your cleats installed, so you can go ahead and take the painter's tape off. You haven't ruined the nice new finish of the shoes. And we'll take a look at my work, and you'll see I've got that one neutral foot, the left foot, and then you'll see I've got the one slightly toe out or heel in foot for the right. And basically from here, all we gotta do is hit the trail. And with any luck, it'll feel great, but I highly recommend bringing a four millimeter with you out on the trail to adjust the little bit of rotation should you need it. And actually on that topic, I should mention most cleats have some internal rotation. So this cleat will allow a little bit of what's called float, which is that side to side movement that you feel when you're clipped in. That's going to account for a lot of the discrepancy of what we just did. Well, thanks for watching this video on how to set up your cleats at home. I hope this was useful for you. If it was, be sure to subscribe as well as share this video to others that it might be able to help. If you have any questions or thoughts, go ahead and put those down in the comment section below. And of course, leave a thumbs up because it lets me know you enjoyed the video.